Hey guys, today we're gonna make these fun little uh, folder inserts for our little pocket that's in the middle of our signatures. So obviously I've made this one already, which is gonna go in the second signature. It's gonna go in this one, um, but we're gonna make the other one together. So check this out, isn't that cute? So if you wanna see how I made this, then stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and I am Genevieve Designs. We are working with the Basically Amazing Foundations and the Basically Amazing Charming Decorative Edge add-on for this album. And it is the Sugar Cookie, that is the paper collection we're using, the Sugar Cookie Size B Basically Amazing uh, Christmas album. I have a whole video playlist specifically for this album. I will link it up here and down below, but it is for, it goes start to finish, like beginning to end, step by step. And we have gone really quickly because I wanted to get this finished before Christmas. So today is, the day of recording this is December 17th. So we're running out of time. <laughs> so I've got everything prepped and ready, but I'm gonna sh walk you through everything. I'm gonna show you everything. I'm gonna show you what I printed, show you, I don't think, um, let's see, and show you what I traced and everything, and we're gonna put it together. So this is the pocket. I decided to go ahead and put the pocket together. <laughs> go ahead, I just watched another one of her videos today. I'll tell you what, she just makes me laugh. I really like her personality. Um, I went ahead and made this a pocket and no magnets. So it's because because this is pretty heavy, um, I think it'd be fine. I don't think we have to worry about it flopping around. And I didn't make inserts for inside here yet. I figured we would just make them as we go. So maybe we'll do a whole video just dedicated to just random inserts. But I wanted to make a specific one for this one. And this is what I made. So this is what it looks like opened up. I made this into a cute little tuck right here where we could tuck in this cute little insert, right? So let's, oh, and this is, um, these are all, these two are ephemera pieces and this is a piece from my add-on scrap journal. It's the tickets. And then the green and white stripe is from my mini album ornaments. We I printed that onto parchment, so I traced those out onto there. And then these two are both from the paper collection. And then obviously this is the background design, the letters background design. And then these two pockets, I printed, I, I matted them with the green shades of color um, on parchment. So pretty easy, but we'll, well, I'll walk you through everything where we need and that we used. So first things first, let me go ahead and <laughs> close this pocket up. So this is the first fin. I'm sorry, every time I say that now, I'm gonna laugh. I I'm not gonna be able to help it. This is the first fin and I'm just going, oops, got a rogue hair. Pay no attention to my nails. I have had no time to do my nails. My husband's been working from home. Um, he's He actually is using my nail table as a workspace because there is another computer in there. Um, yeah, so anyway, so he's been working from home, so I haven't been able to do my nails. Uh, we don't have our Christmas shopping done, and I am recording videos. So, <laughs> so there's that, and editing them, and uploading them, and doing everything you gotta do once you upload. <laughs> all right, so I've got that all closed up. No big deal. I might ink these edges just a little bit. I just wasn't sure if we were going to do anything um, extra, but since we're running out of time, we're just gonna make our insert. So I'm gonna put this aside for now because we don't need it, but I just wanted to make sure that that was uh, put together. There will be timestamps, um, oops. There will also be timestamps below this video um, and there's like chapters along this bar here. So if you need to jump around, totally feel free to do that. But I'm gonna tell you now what we need from the templates. And if I printed a main base page off of something, I will link, I will have that listed below. But if it's a mat that goes on top of a main base page, I don't list those because that would be way too much information. Okay, you need to print um, this mat uh, on this 
piece of paper from the paper collection that looks like this because when you've got a whole pad of paper you don't have a name for the paper so it would just be too hard so I don't list what I put what I put uh, where I print the mat or how I print the mats if that makes sense but it is right here I will tell you um, so the first thing you need is from the foundations these are available in my Etsy shop those are also linked down, down below and what I printed was two of 33C with the letters background. So this is actually one of the side pocket inserts for the C size album. Now we're making a B size album, but I like the way the dimensions that this looked inside of that pocket. So 33C, so I printed two of these with the letters background and I inked the other side. Uh, also, I traced the mats for this page, one onto the shades of color, the, I think this is number, oh, I don't remember, 22, and it's on the parchment. I traced it and inked it out, inked it out, inked it out, and then I also traced it onto this pattern paper, which there's the back, uh, the collage look, and then it's got the wood. I did the same thing on the other one, so I'll pull that out while we're making the other one, but, um, so that's from the paper collection. So we need that. And then, let's see. I'm trying to think of what, all we, what else is in here. Oh, we need page 14 AD. Um, oh, let's see. Let me go back to this really quick. The 33C, you need two per fin. So I have two fins, so I would need four of these, but you need two per fin. So I'm just showing you what you need for one fin. Um, and then on page 14 AD in the foundations, I printed on plain cards. Oh, I didn't, that's different. I printed on <laughs> to white card stock, but then on the back side of that, this is one of the papers. What happened, did I? Oh. I'll see what happened. Uh, this is one of the papers that are part of the add-on scribe journal. This is the one that's got the pink and green writing that's my mom's writing. So I have that on the back side of this page, 14 AD. So I used the landscaped version of this page, which is, again is not included in the foundations or the or the um, decorative edge. It's, it's the scrap journal add-on. So that's on the back of that. So we're going to have one of these as a tag behind the booklet and then one of these we're going to put as an insert in another one of the pockets. So I think that's all we're going to need from the foundations. Okay and then out of the charming decorative edge, now if you're using the graceful decorative edge it's the same pages so don't panic you can totally interchange. It's the same page they're just not all included in one set of templates. Everything is available separately. So I think we need, we need two things out of here. So page 36 is the spine pieces for the inside pocket inserts. You just would need one page of these if you're doing two fins. So this is one set for a fin, one set for a fin, you know, one set for a fin. So I've already used one of them. Um, and then here's the other one, right? And we're going to use this one. And then I've already got two mats. This one I'm using the pink stripe from the mini album ornament um, and then I've already inked everything up I have scored this right so that's ready to go so we need that and then one more whoa I forgot that was there let me put this aside so I don't lose it and then we need on page 48 there are four corner pockets okay I used two on the other one and we're going to use two on this one so I've already inked them up scored them and taped them up right and I've traced two of the mats onto the pink uh, I think this is number 10 uh, shades of color that I printed onto parchment okay and I think that might be all we need from oh no we need one more thing uh, from the Basically Amazing add-on photo mats. This is completely optional, but uh, seven, page 7BD, I used um, one sheet per fin for this uh, insert, for this video. And what I did was I went ahead and, hang on, I went ahead and stamped four by six and everything on there. So this is optional, but these are printed just on 28 pound paper. So let's start by putting 
the insert together. Those are inserts. Let's get those out of the way. So we need to first we need to mat the back side of these before we put the insert together. So in the back one, we're going to use this wood. Let me grab the other one. Did I tell you guys my oldest son got diagnosed with the, the COVID-19, or not diagnosed, he tested positive last Sunday, I guess it was, and everybody was worried, panicked, and my daughter-in-law's family is testing positive, and it's just like, I had, we had our granddaughter, she stayed the night, two nights in a row, so she was here like three days. It was so much fun, but she wore me out. She's so full of energy. Uh, but luckily, I had recorded enough videos to where I didn't have to stress over those couple of days. <laughs> but anyway, now everybody's worried. Everybody's like panicking. Everybody's going to get tests and stuff. Which they say, if you if you have symptoms, you should go get tested. But my son, he feels perfectly fine now, of course. Um, but he's being quarantined, and it was so cute. She sent a picture last night. Um, he's being quarantined in their master bedroom, and they are staying out, like, in the living room and stuff. Because <laughs> there's two bathrooms, so she doesn't have to go in there to shower or anything. But, but the baby and my son, they're, like, talking to each other under the door. It's so cute. Oh, my God, it was so cute. Anyway. Okay. Sorry. Sidetracked. <laughs> So on the back of this one for the other fin, I used the wood background, but we made it a little tuck so we could tuck some stuff in there, okay? So we're going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to use my tape runner. Somebody asked me in a comment today in today's video, which is the, what is today's video? Are we matting, or was it a different video? Um, no, we're matting stuff, and I think I said I used tape temporarily just in case we have to come back and change the mats out. I think I said something like that. And then she asked me if if I would come back and glue them permanently afterwards. And no, the answer is no. I probably would not. Not unless I noticed they were coming apart. I wouldn't mess with them at all. Um, but it does give you leeway. If you need to get into there, you can. Uh, but I would not go back and re-glue uh, everything. Okay, so then that's the back cover, and then the front cover, I couldn't find, like on this front cover, this is paper collection, but I couldn't find a, a, an alternative for this, for this insert. So that's why I just went with the shades of color green, because I wanted it to be green. But same thing, I'm just gonna tape runner, tape it on. This is um, my ATG tape ladder with the Tape Depot refill in it which I've got that link down below for you guys it's a really good alternative price wise and somebody asked me if it was a, an affiliate link it's not an affiliate link I just um, I found it through Lindsay from the frugal crafter and I mean it might be a affiliate link for her I don't know and it's a good value and it's good tape so um, so I just passed it along to you guys not everything that everybody links is an affiliate link. So, sometimes it is, but not, not in my case. A lot of the magnet links down there are not affiliate links. Some of them are, but, um, but not a lot. Okay, so let's start with the back one. Okay, if you notice I got top written on here, that's because the mats for this part, it matters. They, um, like I had explained before, I hand draw all these edges and they're not exactly the same. This side's not exactly the same as this side. So it, the mats do matter how you uh, place them on there. So if I was to uh, put this on backwards, like let's say I put it over here, it just doesn't fit the same. The, the curves are not the same, not exactly. So that's why it says top there. But I need to pay attention to that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Fiber Attack by Beacon and along the one side let's yeah along the one edge of the back cover come on come down i was just talking about how how uh um how not to have your fabric tack bubble over and i'm doing it anyway patience is not my thing all right so on the 
spine piece for the insert. I'm literally just putting a little bit of glue on the end and right there at the bump. Same over here, right there at the bump. And then, let's make sure I got the top. Yep. And I'm going to line this up, but it's going to be right next to the score mark on that spine piece, okay? We don't want to go over that. Oops, oops there we go. And the Fabri-Tac does give you a little bit of wiggle room. So now we've got that, and we've got uh, a little tuck now. You wouldn't want to use a tape there if you're tucking something in because it'll get stuck. And you don't want to do that. Okay, so then... For this one, we're just going to glue the whole thing down. So this is the front cover. We're just we're going to glue that whole tab, or that whole, um, what's this called? Binding piece, the spine piece. Well, and then on the edge, I wanted to make sure this edge gets glued down. I don't know why. Same thing, line it up right outside of that score mark. So basically, you'll be able to see that full score uh, line in the middle there that I inked up. I did ink that up because you're going to be able to see it. Oops. Okay, and that's what we got so far. There's a little bit of seepage there. So I'm going to leave this open while we mat these. So there's one's going to go there and one's going to go there. And I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac again. But yeah, so that's, you know, my husband's been working from home because my son tested positive and he was around us. Um, one time so we want to make sure that we don't spread it as soon as we found out he came home from work I mean I'll work from home so um, I didn't have to come home because I was already here but <laughs> you know what I mean so we kept the baby for a couple of days and it was so much fun she was she's so baby they're so sweet and well not all, I guess not all babies but this baby our granddaughter so sweet in the morning you know when babies first wake up they're sleepy eyes and yeah she's just a sweetheart I just love her pieces where's me out by love her pieces Oh, Sophie, don't you start barking. Sophie, Toby. Okay. <laughs> Sophie. We opened it up. Let me move this out of the way. Sophie, honey. I have no idea what she's barking about. She barked my thumb. So here's what they look like. Pretty close, right? Same but different. Yep. <laughs> well, I apologize. Hang on. Let me figure out what's going on. Well. Uh, I honestly have no idea. So, no idea what she was barking about. Probably Amazon or somebody. Okay. Next, I'll go ahead and do the embellishing on the front because I got that ready. It's kind of one of the same but different situation here. So, this time I picked a funny little snowman ice skating because this, I don't know, he just looks like he's in a funny little Santa suit, like a funny little almost skating really but <laughs> so I did a little bit of extra fussy cutting around the edge there and then this is also from the both of these are from the ephemera packs um 
I don't know which one, but we I got both ephemera packs. So I got those two pieces, and then this is from the add-on scrap journal. This is from the this and that this and that ephemera PDF part. So this one's a little bit different because it doesn't have the whoa, it doesn't have these black numbers here, but that's okay. I don't mind. And we're gonna stamp. Do you see how I stamped? 12, 25, 2020. Isn't that cute? Okay. So we're going to do kind of the same scenario. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, I think. So maybe something like that. I mean, the little snowman's not as big as the Santa, but. There we go. There we go. So I got it together the way I think I want it. I'm just going to add a little piece of tape across here so that nothing moves while I glue everything together. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just going to try to tack everything together and then glue the whole back together or whole back down. Did I get that? Yeah, I don't think I did. That might be excessive, but right, same but different. I think that's adorable okay so for the the stamp I'm still I'm using these wood stamps that I found at Hobby Lobby I just like the font of them plus I also like that you can do every day like you don't have to do a 2 and a 0 for 20 or you don't have to do a 1 and a 2 for 12 you, you I like it that there's every day in numbers although I, th I think that makes sense so let's start with the 12 and I love this font I think this, these will also be good for like December daily. Um, people who do December dailies because they're small and they got all the numbers. Whoops. Or people who do bullet journaling or people who plan. And then I'm going to put 25 up here. You can't really see it that well. I mean, you can see it a little bit better there, but it's there. And then I'm going to do the 2020 because I want it to be long. And notice how wonky my 2020 is there. I'm going to try to, if I try to make it wonky on purpose, it won't, it won't be right, will it? There's my two. My zero. My two. <laughs> Zero. Oh, that's okay. That worked out okay. I like those. I really like those numbers. So, now we got 12. You don't have to put the date on there. I just thought it was kind of cute. So there's our two inserts so far. So then on the inside, I wasn't sure if I wanted to do this, but I really like the idea of it, making it a folder. So we can add a whole bunch of uh, inserts or loose, um, loose, like, um, like these kind of things, loose photo mats we could put in here. I just like the idea of it. I like having that extra space to hold extra stuff or uh, extra ephemera. I just like that. So, we've got two pockets and everything's taped up, inked up, ready to go. This one looks like this one goes on this side. Um, the only reason I say that is because I tacked the bottom of the pocket to the side so that the inserts won't get stuck on it. So like, 
this is the bottom of the pocket, and so it's attached. No, wait, this is the bottom of the pocket, and it's attached to this part so that things don't get stuck. Nope, did I do it wrong anyway? I think I did. Well, shoot. This one was supposed to go over here. Oh, well. Oh, well. It happens, you guys. I... I, uh, my husband did go run an errand, so I'm like, he's not home right now, so I'm trying to, like, get this recorded <laughs> while he's not here. I feel like I have to ground him into his, um, into any space in order for me to get my recording done, so he should, you guys, he's a saint. He really is. I say that. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> And I decided not to embellish these little pockets right now. I think that we'll, we can come back if we want to. If there's leftover ephemera pieces and stuff, we can come back and embellish them further. Or we could stamp or put labels or whatever. I just figured we could wait on that. Or if we put anything there at all, it doesn't have to be anything. We could just write there if you want to. You could, be, you could just journal on top of the pockets. You can, I forgot to erase, but I did ink. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get my camera to, not my hand. I don't know if you can see, I forgot to erase the pencil, but it's okay. I was prepping super fast so that I could film quickly while he was gone. So I just forgot some things, but that's okay. All right, put those down there. You know, I didn't do very good tracing out either. I mean, cutting out. Um, trace just fine, just the cutting part, because again, I was in a hurry. But again, it doesn't matter. It does not matter if it's like, the, let me show you what I'm talking about, because it's really bad, like right here, camera, right there. See, it's a really a bad cut there, but it's okay, it does not matter. You can't really tell unless you're really looking at it, in my opinion. Okay, so those pockets are in the little folder, our little insert folder here. I just think that's such a cute idea. Now let's make the inserts for the back. These little inserts here. Okay, I'm gonna start off by, these are inked up and I don't think there's a direction. These are both uh, inked up, and then again, these are stamped. So I'm gonna attach. We're gonna start by attaching these down. You could, if you wanted to, you could have matted the back side instead of having the printed paper on there. You could have matted it with pattern paper. Right, you could have used a pretty piece of decorative paper on the back. Just really depends on how much paper you go through, how much you have left. Now that our covers are finished, I don't feel I don't feel as worried about making sure I have paper left for certain things because our covers are done. So now we can just make all kinds of cool inserts and things because I, I'm not going to run out of paper. Okay, so we got those two. And then on this top part, I already used up. I had a scrap of the, oh, what did I use on the other one? I used, book, or not book paper, uh, copy stained paper. I had a one inch strip of this in my scrap drawer, my crafty tray, but I don't think I have another one. So you need about an inch. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, do I only just have the one? Oh, never mind. These aren't. Um, these are um, on parchment, but they'll they'll do just fine. Thank you. Never mind. I don't need this. I didn't think I had it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark. I want it to be the same width as the the photo mat.
I guess I'll just cut them both at the same time. I use the Tim Holtz Deckle Edge Paper Trimmer. And you see that edge there that it's where the printer didn't print? I'm gonna trim that edge. Um, so I'm gonna trim that edge kind of off, but not really. So it looks like that. There we go, All right? And if, if you don't have this, you could just use decorative scissors or you can rough it up or you can tear it, whatever you need to do, just to give it a different little edge. All right, and then let's ink these up and we're gonna attach them down. Easy, easy. You could use tape runner. Just my glue sitting right here. I was talking about that the other day in my video, how I just kind of use whatever's sitting right there, usually, unless it's a, unless it matters. So this doesn't really matter. You could tape runner it on there if you want to. So we're placing these just on the top part there. I want to do is I want to mark the center of this top because we're gonna we're gonna uh, put a whole reinforcement I'm just gonna mark one so here's my speckled egg um, walnut stain and some foil remember I told you I showed you how to do the foil on these before where you just you ink them up the way you want and then you use a glue stick this is the glue stick I used, and then you put the foil on and kind of rub it, and it does this really cool, it doesn't cover it completely. Of course, if you wanted it completely, you could do it different, but I like the distressed look of these, so we're gonna be using these. Um, we don't have a pink color that I liked, so we're just going with these. And I think I might, no, oh, maybe not. Oh, no, that looks good. So I just punched it. I mean, I just put the hoe reinforcement down. Now I'm gonna just a regular old office hoe punch. Then I'm gonna line this up and punch through the other one. And let's add the hoe reinforcements to the back side as well. If you need to, you can add glue to these. Sometimes they don't like to stick very well after you've foiled. I love these, I love these, I love these, I love these. All right, and then the very last thing for these is we're gonna add a little piece of string. Let me go ahead and get enough for both, I think. I'm just going to run it through like this. And then I'm just going to tie a knot like this. And then the other one. Extra. All right. 
so see just how simple that is and it's super cute okay so one of them is going to go on the back side of the little insert we just made or i mean the little yeah the envelope insert whoops we had some glue sticking together and then the other one is going to go in this front fold down pocket like so so that's just one of the inserts that are going to be in this pocket but i thought well we're already making one for this insert might as well make the other for there so that's going to go there and then this whole piece minus anything inside of here is going to go in this pocket so it looks like that oh look at that how cute that is so it looks like that and then back here there's the other insert and then this one is going to go here on the second fin. Oh, and that's cute too. You can see the 2020 and the Santa. Oh, I love it. So yeah. Okay, you guys. I love the way this turned out. I wasn't quite sure what insert I was going to put there, but I'm glad I liked this. I'm glad that that's what we came up with. So. Be sure, you guys, to let me know what you think. You gotta leave me a comment in order to enter into that giveaway. You leave a comment in all of the videos in this playlist, minus the um, the first five videos. And I'm gonna pick three videos, oh, excuse me. <clears throat> and at the end of this video series, I'm gonna pick three videos at random and pick um, a winner out of the comments using that YouTube random comment picker thingy. And you will, um, um, there will be three winners, I think, that will win some, some parts of the paper collection and different things. So, don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and um, turn that notifications on so you don't miss any of my videos. And hopefully, I will see you again real soon with some more inserts because we got to make an in oh maybe that's the next thing we'll do is we'll make an insert for here because that's a big that's a big deal it's a big belly band we'll make an insert for there i still am thinking about my covers um and then we need the inserts for this little flip down pocket which are fun um one of them i'm super excited about making so maybe we'll do i'm not sure We'll either do the inserts for here or the front pockets or both. All right, you guys. That's all I have. I will see you next time. Bye.